So check this out, I'm at a stoplight. This is my new dash cam with front and rear cameras. You can actually watch them simultaneously or one at a time. But what's cool about this is it also has GPS uh, location tracking. So as I drive down the road here, it's tracking my speed and my GPS map routing. And I'm gonna show you in a second on the file of what that looks like and a bunch of other cool features that this camera has. All touch screen, see all the settings. This is the Vantop H612. And this thing's really cool, even cooler than the last one we did on the uh, H610 model. So stay tuned, I'm gonna show you some actual footage and I'll put links below on the installation part of this from the other video, cause it's exactly the same. Oh, gotta go. If you hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, you're going to be missing out on videos and free prizes and raffles we have coming up. This video includes timestamps, so check out the description below if you want to bounce ahead and just grab the info that you want. Hey friends, this is pretty cool. We upgraded our dash cam. We did a review uh, a while back on the H610 model, and we love it. We It's absolutely been instrumental. You saw it in that video where it saved me from getting a ticket um, because the officer... Like I said, just saw that we had dash cam. But many of the people commented in that video that there are cameras out there that would actually track your uh, location and your uh, speed. And so uh, Van Top got a hold of us and got us that model. Uh, this thing's awesome. So we, we have it all mounted up. It mounts exactly the same way with just the, uh, the rubber straps that strap around to your existing mirror. But this thing is so cool. Wait till you see the way you can uh, download the files. We'll just go ahead and turn it on. So like it is uh, it is voice activated too I could turn the microphone off it's it's most all the same features of the other model except for the fact that it has that mile per hour and like I said you'll see here in a second when I pull the files it actually pulls a map up and follows you right with the video it's so freaking cool so high-tech but um, another thing having played around with this one quite a while where you have both screens showing so you can obviously see that right now it's the front and you know behind me I really like this on the interstate. It's really cool. I didn't think I would, but you'll see me talk about that later in the video. And then uh, I can sc scroll through here. It has that same really cool feature where you can check your cargo, check your load. Um, super awesome. See if your tailgate's down. And then of course, all the settings and features that are all just touch screen. I can go through here, put my license plate in, time zones. I just traveled across the country with this and this thing was awesome for how fast it was to just uh, change the time zone. Uh, let's see, time zone. I could change that and adapt the, the GPS to the same time zone that's in in like just a few seconds so lots of cool options uh use that loop recording too i was in a really beautiful area did that but uh and the other thing i'm going to show in this video is how to get the files off the camera that was one i didn't do in the other video and that's through this usb mode you'll see when i do that how to actually get the files off with the computer so that you can get the gps files or just the regular files whichever way you want to uh want to use that. All right, check this out. Here's some footage of uh, the rear camera. Check out this motorcycle. It comes just blazing by me. Another great reason to have the camera, <laughs> just in case something goes wrong. But uh, this is pretty nuts. This guy's honking along. And then I'll switch to the front camera, and you can actually see him wheelie away from the stoplight. He's having a little more fun than I am in my uh, cage vehicle. You can see him do his little helmet check around. Is anybody watching? Then a little 300cc probably does his little wheelie. And, man, I'd suggest get some gear, buddy. All right, we're going to move on to some uh, nighttime uh, front and rear cams. We'll start with the rear. And one thing I want you to notice down in the bottom left corner is all the data that's going on. You can see the mile per hour uh, happening live and the GPS coordinates uh, that will show up when you download that file. You don't see those change when you're driving, but it, it definitely shows up uh, on the file download, which you'll see in a little bit. But uh, also, if you'll notice on this uh, video where I'm honking along the interstate, this is that point where I said I actually grew to really like watching both cameras at the same time on the mirror. Check out how clear this video is of the police officer pulling out to uh, go get somebody. I'm just glad it wasn't me. Vantop has this image on the uh, Amazon link that you can purchase from where it says that you can actually see 12 inches 
bigger than you can see as as compared to not having the camera and after using that like I said it just has a different feel like you're looking out into a big screen where you can actually see more of uh, the blind spots and I've, I've really grown to like using that front camera like I said on the interstate it's a little distracting in town to me and I always have to have the rear view camera going because this actually blocks the rearview mirror so it's it's a, crucial to have that one running all the time but and I'm gonna play with it some more but I'm liking it as you can see, you don't actually have to remove the dash cam from the installed position to access the files. You can just tip it down, pull the SD card. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, move it to my computer in uh, an easier spot to record from. Shuts off automatically with that power deal I have. So I'm just simply going to unplug these. The GPS, the uh, rear view camera. And I could just tip this down and pull the SD card out. It goes flying if I try and do it with one hand. It's got a pretty good spring on there, but obviously I'll pop that out and go put it right in my computer and download them. All right, so you'll have to find yourself a little USB cable Goodbye. like that one. And we're going to go ahead and just plug that in to power port. And then the computer is going to power up the dash cam. And there's a USB function on here, so then we're going to go to our little settings. Just remember, it's all touch screen. Anytime you see that yellow bar going across there, the camera actually thinks there's been an impact. You can adjust the sensitivity of this, but that is uh, what's going on when you see that. And you can't do anything else because it thinks it's in emergency mode. Pretty cool that it's, it's that sensitive and, and will really work in an accident. Okay, now we're just going to touch screen. We're going to go to settings. Okay, no patience for me. And so you can actually access anything you want in here if you wanted to do your license plate now or set up any perimeters, you can. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to USB. And then I just heard it click on the computer, recognized it. But then we got a couple different things. There's obviously some bugging thing you can uh, use as a feature. Let's try and get that light out of the way. Um, or you can simply just charge your camera. And then what we want is we want to go to storage. Once we do that, we can now access it, you know, on our files on the computer. So wherever you have them stored, I'm going to go here and click on that. And you'll see that little GPS player file that pops up. If you click on that, that's how you can install the software to actually view the GPS capabilities of, uh, of the camera. You can walk through. I cook, took a couple still photos, but it's pretty traditional to Microsoft uh, software application installation. So just follow the prompts, go through it, and then you will get, you get an icon on your desktop. I drug it down here. And it's called this GX player. All right. First thing we want to do is do some setting changes. We can pick a language, uh, then a mile per hour or kilometers, and then what type of map we want to see. So for us, Google uh, Maps were awesome, something we were really familiar with. And then uh, get out of the settings, and then we'll move into picking a file. And this is cool, too, because you can rename those like Axon Grand or Motorcycle Wheelie or whatever it was that you know you wanted. And then here we are. We're ready to view. Now you can see that it's actually live in time. We can manipulate the map just like we would on Google or on our phone or desktop. You can see it's actually tracing and following along. On the actual video itself, you look in the left corner, uh, we're seeing a mile per hour. And then we also can change, you know, like I said, satellite view, street view. I mean, just anything with a Google map. So it's really, really cool. Uh, and then you got your mile per hour there, which matches the, the video file. And just so you know, that is adjustable. So like if you had bigger tires or something on your vehicle, you can actually go in and tweak that around. And there's a correction factor in the settings. I can run the player just like anything else. I can move it back and forth and manipulate it to uh, get to what I want to see or whatever uh, I'm looking for uh, to get maybe a, a timestamp, uh, like I said, that I want to chop up for a video or proof of, uh, uh, proof of uh, location, speed, evidence, you name it. So... Super interactive. The other thing is all those files that are off to the uh, right hand side there, you can see that you can, uh, once you dump a bunch of files in there, you can real quickly go back and forth and, and bounce between the files you have in there and not have to reopen them from your folder. So uh, I got to say I'm pretty super impressed with the interactive capability and just uh, the proof of how great this works. The other thing I mentioned earlier is that there's actually a voice recorder on here uh, during your live file. So if you were looking to, uh, like I said, uh, 
record the audio conversation in the event of an accident or whatever. I ain't going to guess what you're going to record, but you can turn it on and off. But here's a little sample of what that sounds like. Reminds me of us when we were 16. I can't even hate him. <laughs> oh, that's just funny to me. All right, for you Mac users, uh, they are still working on the compatibility for the GPS function, but if you want to view the videos, the files work perfect in this media player. I'm going to show you that now, and I've already downloaded it here. The company told me that they have uh, a fix coming for the GPS player part of it that they're hoping to have out uh, within the end of the month. What I'm going to do is go up here, go to File, and go to Open. <clears throat> This is where I have some of those videos stored here, open. And this is great because uh, QuickTime does not play these. They stutter and they don't work very well. So this one works perfectly fine. Let's see if we can find our guy doing his wheelie. Here's our guy honking a bias. Let's get to the fun stuff. All right, as you can see, the L Media Player uh, does a good job. You can even um, zoom in here on your files and uh, try and get that closer uh, uh, content or uh, evidence, if you will. But uh, hopefully they get the GPS uh, viewing of that fixed pretty quick, and then it will be a win-win for Mac users. All right, friends, there you have it. There is our review of the uh, Vantop um, H612, and we have our... Uh, an H610, and so I know people are going to ask, uh, and obviously you can tell from the video that we, we love the product, we support it, so we definitely recommend it as a purchase item. Uh, they've got holiday deals coming up, they really wanted me to get this video done uh, before Black Friday, so that's the goal, get this thing done and get it out, uh, out to you. So links below on how to purchase these, um, and people will say, well, maybe it'll come down to a price point if you don't have one at all. The 610 is a great uh, option. It, it's high. I can't call this entry level because of everything it does. But um, the GPS is the only way to go for me. I mean, it just literally proved like, okay, here's where I am. Here's my speed. And how fun was it for the the content that we caught of uh, the dude doing the wheelie and people flying by and everything else. So way cool product. Like I said, can't recommend it enough. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 610 uh, uh, kind of an experiment uh, idea, I guess, here because these are meant for uh, for automotive applications. But let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take on a couple of my... Hold on, let me flip the camera. Since it comes with the dual cameras or everything else, I'm going to take and mount it up here on my dash of my uh, bagger. And I'm not sure how I'm going to poke a hole or put a clear lens around that to protect that that camera on the front but basically I'm gonna put this up there so I can record my rides and then put my rear camera back here so I could see what the heck's going there too especially with the wider vision it might just about be easier to go visualize this on the Suzuki could do it on anything doesn't matter I don't need to go out out to the shop where the bike is but you know I think this would be pretty cool to mount up in here you'll come up with something so that basically it's becoming my rearview mirrors as well um, this DL would be a good example here try not to drop this but yeah look at that mount that baby up on there I don't know I think it's gonna be pretty cool so I'm gonna try and have some fun with it and experiment but um, that's what we got going on so I hope you're all are staying safe uh, hope you're all uh, turning wrenches in the garage, making a great day. I'm going to get back at it, and this is the completion of our product review of the Vantop H610 GPS model dash camera. Make it a great day. As always, hit the links below to support us. Like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you again soon. Keep wrenching, my friends.